Hi, I'm Father Thaddeus Langton with the 90 Days for the Souls in Purgatory. Today is day one. Today we start, and we're starting with a heavy hitter. We're going to be praying for atheists who deny God's existence. And we turn to Catechism number 2123 for today's reflection. Many of our contemporaries either do not at all perceive or explicitly reject this intimate and vital bond of man to God. Atheism must therefore be regarded as one of the most serious problems of our times. All too well we know how the world becomes increasingly secular. And the Catechism points out here that there are differences even among those who do not believe or recognize God's existence. Some simply do not perceive him. Perhaps they grew up in a home without faith and they weren't taught to recognize God's presence in their lives. They have less culpability. But there are also those who explicitly reject this intimate and vital bond with God. Those who perhaps were baptized, perhaps did receive catechism, but now openly and actively reject that relationship with God. And the seriousness of this is what the catechism says here. This is an intimate and vital bond of man to God. So often when we talk about faith today, it's simply an idea. We can talk about, oh, well, I'm Christian or someone else is Jewish or I'm this denomination. And in the modern world, it gets reduced to flavors, as it were. Well, I prefer this flavor of ice cream and I have this opinion about politics. We're not talking about opinions. We're talking about life or death. To know God is to encounter life. To not know God, whether through one's fault or not, is to already live in a certain sense in death because God is the Lord and giver of life. And what the Catechism uses, her as, uses here as a word is so key. It is a vital bond. The word vital comes from the Latin vita, meaning life. It is a bond that gives life. And that ought to provoke in us a sincere compassion, mercy, and also spur us on to evangelization, even of those atheists that we know upon earth, but especially to pray for those in purgatory, because thanks be to God, they're saved. They will go to heaven sooner or later. But they spent their time on earth not knowing him, not preparing their hearts to have that intimacy with him in heaven. And that's the shame is that God gives us this time on earth so that we can be ready. Our hearts can be disposed to enjoy friendship with him forever in heaven. And so the Catechism concludes here in this section that it is one of the most serious problems of our time. It's not just one among many, but this gets to the very core of who we are as creatures. We cease to exist, we dissipate if we deny the Creator. So I encourage you today, intercede for these souls of atheists who deny the existence of God. Pray with me for them. If you like this podcast, I ask you to please subscribe to it so that we can have as many people as possible listen to it and intercede for these holy souls. May the Virgin Mary's Immaculate Conception be our salvation and our protection. St. Stanislaus Papczynski, pray for us and for the souls in purgatory.